Hi! How are you all doing? It's getting hot in Israel. Might be a bit red. But uh, I just wanted to check in and say hi. Show you a bit about what I've been knitting lately. I made myself a promise this year that every month I'm going to finish a new project. So far it has been going well. I'll show you what I've made. So back in January I finished these socks. It's a Sunday socks from a Petite Knit. Uh, I knit it in my Merino DK yarn and I've actually been using them a lot, mainly in the mornings, you know, when you get up and the floor is cold, or in the evening when the floor is cold. Uh, we have clo co cold floors here in Israel and I'm really, really happy with them. The past month, month and a half, I haven't used them as much, but they're still here in good shape. I'm gonna take them back when needed, probably when the air conditioning is going to cool off everything. In February I finished a huge project. I needed a sweater for my father. I don't know if it doesn't fit in. It's uh, based also on one of Petit Knitted's patterns. I really like her stuff. She just writes good patterns. Um, however, I didn't want it to be like all straight stock in it, so I made a texture on it. If you can see it, I've written it down and uh, you can download it on my website for free. I like to share if possible and I think it can be adapted to any sweater pattern you have. You want to do something different, don't even have to follow it, make something alike. It's not that important, just to have fun with it. Um, I'll link to all the patterns and the stuff underneath. I'll figure out how to do it. And in March, I finished a project I've been dreaming of for a long time. It's a designer, Danish designer as well, surprise, I like to knit in Danish. Uh, Anne Wenzel, her slanting slip over, I think it's just gorgeous design she's made. Has a folded, has been folded. <laughs> uh, absolutely adore this pattern and the outcome, I mean look at this, it's just genius. Uh, I needed this in my non super was organic merino. Uh, this one is dyed with eucalyptus. And I actually used it for Pesach, for Lila Seda. It was really nice. It was in Jerusalem. This with a t shirt made it perfect. Um, for now, this thing gets a bit too hot, but it's here, ready for cooler days, air conditioning as well. Um, in April, I finished my assigned pooling shawl. I don't have it. I have a picture on it on my Instagram. It was a hostess. I gave it as a present for Doda Adasa when we were in Jerusalem for Pesach. Um, and I speed knitted a baby blanket. I, we had a new baby in the family alongside. And I actually thought her due date was a bit old in June, but I managed to finish the, the blanket. They got it last weekend. They were really happy with it. Um, other than that, I am working on a few projects. I need to finish a new one. We're in May already. I'm knitting these socks in my Merino sock base. This is also a Danish pattern. It's by Filkulana. They have a lot of really nice free patterns. This one is called Torsmine. I don't think you can see the work here as good because it's quite dark colors. Maybe it looks nice on a on a, on a lighter colors, but I, I actually really like the way it turns out on the braid here. It's not even a real braid, it's a cheating braid, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I'll leave the pattern as well, free pattern, really nice. I'm almost done with this, need to measure it and then uh, start the other one. And another thing I'm knitting on, I just started the other day. It's an eventsel again. Her sailor sweater. Um, I wanted it, this is in my Walton Merino, it's half Merino, half cotton base. It's with like these stripes. I wanted like a really light summery top. And um, that can go like with shorts, you go inside, it's a bit cooler inside. It has like a loose fit. I'm trying to make it a bit large and with like lighter colors. It's just like an undyed base, natural, and this is. 
the dyed it's uh, Erantis, this color, like the spring flowers in Denmark. And I'm actually really happy with it. It's it's quite easy to do this color work and actually I'm really pleased with how it turns out. I like that it's not the difference between the colors is not too big, but you I mean you still see them. Kind of like the way that feels. Sometimes it uh, Excited for this one, it's gonna take a while, so maybe the socks will be the project that I'll finish in May. Other than that, I'm wearing my silk top. It's from my favorite things, knitwear, I think. I always mess up her name. I knew this one is in my silk base. It's perfect for summer. I even have another one. A bit, I need this one a bit larger, and I need to cast on a new one. So many things to do. This one is got a bit quite huge. I made it a bit too large, I think. But it's nice. It's nice and flowy. It's a really nice pattern. I like the pearl rib. I think it's called in Danish. Sorry, I'm messing up all the terms in Danish and Hebrew and English. I'm not. I'm a bit all over the place. I you know. I hope you get what I mean. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, maybe a few new Danish designers that you haven't heard of before. Other than that I have a few new things coming. I am waiting. No shipping times. <laughs> Everything takes a long time. But all the time trying to think of new things and I am also getting some more summer bases hopefully soon. I still have a few that I need to upload to the website. They should be coming I thought I would make it this weekend, this week. I forgot about all the holidays. It's basically holidays for the kids now. Again, again, again. So maybe next week. Um, but I will keep you all updated. Basic, mainly on Instagram and newsletters. That Those are my easiest way to keep it organized. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.